The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will be, for it will not be you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and give them and have them put to death. <coughs> You will be hated by all because of my name. But whoever endures to the end will be saved. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. No one lives forever. That's why the moment you are born, you have to accept that you will die. The moment you are born, you have to accept that you will die. Two points in our lives, perhaps you are not in control of. There is nothing you can do about it. But the time in between you are born and the time you die, you, you have all the power to do something either for God or for simply for yourself. Mahaba man yan, maiksi man yan, nasa iyo mga kamay kung paano mo gagamitin ang mga araw na pinagkaloob sa iyo ng Diyos. Huwag mo sasayangin. Yung iba, umiral lang, pero hindi sila nabuhay. They simply exist, but they fail to live a life. Nandun lang, sabi nga, umayon lang sila sa Agos. Umayon lang sila sa Agos. Niwala silang pinanindigan sa buhay. Yung ibang umaayon sa Agos, walang ginawa din kundi magreklamo. Pero ayaw namang sila'y tumayo para sa kanilang gustong buhay. Magandang pagtuunan ng pansin yan. As we begin perhaps to end this year, we focus ourselves on what we want in 2020. And it's good To keep this in mind, brothers and sisters, never complain of things you don't want to change. Never complain of things you don't want to change. Mahirap yung nagre-reklamo ka, pero ikaw mismo ang ayaw magbago. Ayaw mong gawan ng paraan ang mga bagay na nire-reklamo mo. Marami sa atin ang ganon. Hindi na nga nabuhay, umaayon lang, nagre-reklamo pa. If you want something new in 2020, you must be willing to do things you have not done before. If you want something new in 2020, you must be willing to do something you have not done before. Because if you will continue to be doing what you have been doing for the past year, then you will continue to get what you have been getting. Paulit-ulit mo yung mak makik makukuha dahil yan lang ang paulit-ulit mong ginagawa. If you go to Jerusalem, 
there is a gate dedicated to Saint Stephen. It is where Saint Stephen was thrown out of the city and was stoned to death. Was stoned to death because of his faith, of his love for God. And perhaps you have heard in the first reading how he prayed for those who persecuted him. And perhaps it, is, it, is, it challenges us to live a life that worthy of that grace. Mahirap yung wala ka naman talagang pinanindigan pero gusto mo sa huli maalaala kang nanindigan. Ano ang iyong pinaninindigan? Sino ka? Pag ikaw ay tinanong, sino ka? Ano ka? Who are you? What have you become with the life that God has given you? My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, as I have said, you can never complain of things you don't want to change. And this is the grace we would like to ask through the intercession of St. Stephen. Because you all know this, it's either you are for God or against God. You are either for God or against God. You are either good or bad, whether you like it or not. As I have always say this, not to do good is evil by itself. Amen.